Hello everyone, my name is Mark Kramer and I'm Professor of Clarinet at Tennessee Tech University and this is the third of three video installments of videos geared towards helping beginners get set up on the clarinet. In this video I'll be talking about basic embouchure, playing our first notes, and articulation. So an embouchure is the way in which we form our mouth in order to create a sound on our instrument. And this is critically important on all instruments, especially on the clarinet, in order to create a great tone and avoid squeaking. In the beginning, I like to keep embouchure really simple and keep it down to just four basic steps. So step number one is to have a firm and stretched lower lip. And the way in which you're going to do this is to stretch your lower lip over your bottom teeth like so and get a nice firm surface for that reed to vibrate off of later on. Step number two is to have a pointed chin. So let's add step number two to step number one. So get number one, that firm stretched lower lip, and step number two, point that chin. And feel a nice stretch on your lower jaw. Another good point of reference for pointing your chin is to imagine having a clothespin pinch your chin, and it's gonna point your chin down and you're gonna get a nice firm surface for that reed to vibrate off of. Step number three is gonna require putting the mouthpiece in your mouth and putting your top teeth on top of the upper part of your mouthpiece. So let's add all of this together. Step one, stretch from lower lip. Step two, pointed chin. Step three, teeth on top of the mouthpiece. And to bring it all together, step four, we're gonna bring the corners of our mouth in. So step one, Stretch lip, step two, point of chin, step three, teeth on top of the mouthpiece, and four, corners in. A good way to practice having really firm corners with a nice seal is to take your thumb and your first finger and to put them in your mouth like so, and then say, ow, ow, and kind of resist having your fingers touch, ow. You're gonna feel a little bit of tension in, in the sides of your mouth, and that's a really good way of knowing that your corners are getting in. And when you have that complete embouchure, you're gonna feel a nice firm snug on, si on the side of the mouthpiece with those corners. So to recap all of this, let's do all the steps one more time and cu cumulatively add them. So step number one, firm stretch lower lip. Step two, point and chin. Step three, teeth on top of the mouthpiece. And four, snug corners. Okay, the next part of this video is the fun stuff. We're going to make some noise. So I think the most logical note to start with on the clarinet is open G, which is open fingering, no fingers on the clarinet. And a really good way when you're starting uh, to have a lot of stability, especially on open G, which you don't have a lot to hold on to, is to take your first finger on your right hand and put it right underneath your thumb rest, just so you have some stability. And then maybe put your hand on your barrel while you put your mouthpiece in your mouth. And what we're gonna do is we're going to remember that basic embouchure that I just taught you, and then add good posture and a big breath. So sit on your sits bones like we did in earlier video, have a nice big breath, and we're gonna have step one, two, three, and four all together. And I won't repeat those because I think you know them by now. So we're gonna play an open G, which is no fingers down. Okay, let's add another note. So let's go down on the clarinet and the next note down would be an F, so G, F. And the way you play that note is to add your thumb on the thumb ring in the back. So let's play just F. Now let's string together G and F. So if the first note was G and the second note was F, what do you think the next note is? Go backwards in the alphabet, so G, F, E. And E is gonna be adding that first finger. Put those together. The next note will be D, which is adding your middle finger. Put those together, G, F, E, D. And the last note is going to be C, which is all of your fingers on your left hand down. And let's put all of that together. Great. 
the last part of this video that I wanted to talk about was basic articulation. And articulation is how you get separation between notes. And the way you do that is by putting a little bit of tongue pressure on the reed and then releasing. So I think it's really important to, to know that uh, a good phrase is tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. Say that, tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. That little bit of alliteration is gonna help you know how to strike the tongue onto to the reed. Now, you're not really gonna be on the very tip of the reed, you're actually gonna be about a millimeter below the tip, but think about the smallest amount of surface area that you can of your tongue touching the very, just below the tip of the reed. Think about three taste buds touching the reed. So we're gonna practice this. I just want you to say, without playing, I want you to say, T, T, T. Okay, now we're gonna put that T, T, T and apply it to the clarinet. So while remembering all of our concepts of good posture, good breath, very stable, firm embouchure, on an open G, you're just gonna go, with just a little bit of tongue pressure on the reed. And keep the air really steady. Let's try it again. And don't stop your air. Let's try to get six notes in a row. As you get better at it, you'll be able to apply moving your fingers to that. So let's get crazy and let's try to play those first G, F, E, D, C with just a very slight articulation at the beginning of each note. And if you get a little bit off, that's, that's totally okay. Let's just see if we can kind of get some coordination going with that. So G, then tongue the F, then tongue the E, then tongue the D, then tongue the C. Let's try G, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C, C. And that's basic articulation. So this is the conclusion of my portion of this series of videos. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email is mkramer at tntech.edu. That's M-C-R-A-M-E-R at tntech.edu. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. I hope you find these videos useful. Best of luck to you and happy practicing.